see those samples as a way of getting inspired and also creating like a quick workflow. I would say my signature sound of my tracks are a lot of focus on the low end and the kick and never too predictable. I'm pretty, you know, geeky when it comes to programming and soundscaping. I also use samples, you know, just as a basis or, you know, as part of a layer. You know, on Splice, there's like millions of those sounds available. And that's really cool because then you have a basis and sometimes you need a simple basis in order to, you know, create your idea, you know, where you want to go with the track. Since this is my very first sample pack, I really wanted to have like a more legacy part where I revived a lot of my old sounds. Besides that, obviously a lot of new sounds, which really hits the sound as it is right now. It was all about making a very big variety of sounds. And some sounds sound a bit strange, like uh, the techno rumbles. It's a really cool basis um, uh, for a more techie based track. If you combine this with, uh, with the kick, then already, get like a really nice uh, techy kind of vibe. When, when you play it out, you're like, whoa, what is this? Combined with uh, the other uh, loops, you really get like a nice techy kind of uh, flow in your track. And you can use it in combination with, with, with like a key bass bass line or just for your solo uh, techno project. And I really wanted to have those in the sample pack as well because I was always searching for those sounds myself. And then I learned how to make them with reverb and filters. So I really wanted to add them as well to the, to the pack. So I would say, you know, definitely use samples as an addition and, you know, be geeky yourself and just work out those synths and try to understand the whole principle behind soundscaping.